Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Here I've got an absolutely stunning 987 Gen 2 Cayman S manual. It's finished in the glorious Guards Red exterior, which is a colour that's been around since the, the 80s with the 911s from, from that era, the 930, the 3 litres. Guards Red, this colour hasn't changed through the, through the ages. It's a September 2009 registered car. So it's a, a 2010 model year. With it being a Cayman S, it's got the 3.4 litre flat six DFI engine. So that's completely safe in terms of uh, IMS bearing issues, RMS oil seal leaks, and also ball scoring. These cars don't suffer any of those issues. That was all eradicated in 2009 with this new engine, with these Gen 2 cars. Um, and some quick pointers on how to tell it's a Gen 2. So one is it has daylight running lights here. Um, the older cars have a, a, a body coloured bar here and then a fog light in the corner. Uh, sorry, I was to say a side light in the corner. And the rear lights are a different shape and they're not LEDs, these are LEDs. And they're pointed here, whereas it's a, a straight edge on the side of those if it was a Gen 1. It's got some absolutely amazing options on this car. First of all, being the most noticeable, I think, is the Porsche inscription on the sides, which was a, a dealer fit or a factory option. Um, I think even if you factory optioned it, it would come as a kit for the dealer to fit when it was supplied. Um, to get that set now, I think it's around seven or eight hundred pounds just to get the stickers. So it's lovely. It's still got that original stickers on the sides. It's got the black Cayman. S lettering on the rear rear tail lid and you can see those stickers carry on at the front there and then the the wheels are actually the uh, factory exclusive order Carrera sport wheels and these are in absolutely amazing condition they're diamond cut on the edge and then they're gloss black finish with colored Porsche crests in the middle there absolutely great combination with this paintwork I think and it's got the red calipers which all uh, Cayman S's are standard were fitted with with larger brakes for the S models than the, the smaller engine 2.9s in this era. The tyres are matching Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. So there they are, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which are fantastic road going tyres. Really suit the handling characteristics of this car, really emphasise the sporting prowess of this car on the roads on a winding b road these cars are absolutely amazing it's got um, design tech wheel spaces front and rear so there's that extra disc there you can see between the the disc the brake disc and the, and the wheel and as a result it's got longer wheel bolts as well to match that so there are so it makes the wheels sit perfectly with the edges of the arches it's also fitted with h&r springs <clears throat> which make it 10 mil lower than it would be. It is a PASM equipped car, so it's got the switchable sport suspension, so it sits 10 mil lower anyway than a car without PASM, but with that as well, so it's, it's 20 mil lower. So it's actually the same height as a Cayman R. This car is essentially a, a, a cut price Cayman R in the spec, and I'll talk through some of the other bits as well. It's got the sport stainless steel tailpipes, which are different to the standard tailpipes. They've got like a ridged edge to them just there it wasn't specced with a rear wiper from the factory so that makes the rear look really clean on the inside is is where this car gets really really special for me it has the um, hardback sport seats which have got the gray plastic hardbacks wider bolsters the bottom and also along here and in the inside, right, it has the manual gearbox with the short shift kit, so it makes the gear change very smooth and very little travel. There's no play in the in the stick itself. Six speed manual, uh, which is made by I Asin A I S I N. Uh, Japanese brand they also make the 997 gen 2 box the manual boxes as well Porsche moved from Getrag to this brand of boxes in 
I think it was 2004, 2005, they started using these boxes, which are really great gearboxes. Uh, the car's covered 39,000 miles and it has four previous owners from new. And it was serviced in October. Let me just show you that when the next service is due. So there's no error message. We've obviously done a full diagnostics and I'll show you that in the file in a second. Next service is due in 17,300 miles or 478 days. It was serviced October 2021 at La Rose Porsche Specialists who are in Seven Oaks. And they did a major service, so including belts, spark plugs. I think they've done coil packs as well. Subsequently to that, we've had the um, actually the other special thing on the outside, which makes it very, very a very good driver's car is the limited slip differential this has the limited slip differential from the factory and we've refurbished it so we've taken it apart we've put new friction plates in the in the diff to make sure it works absolutely perfectly and that's that was quite a big expense but we wanted to make sure this car is absolutely perfect so that's all been done and there's there's an invoice for that now it has the switchable sports exhaust uh, let me start it up actually because it absolutely sounds sounds awesome um, let me just open the window so you can hear it just purring away and then when you press the exhaust button it just sounds that little bit more burbly and then this is it closed so it gives it a deeper resonance with that open so that is that it's got the full climate control system um, it hasn't got heated seats. So this is a this car was essentially specced as a driver's car. So all of the sort of over surplus comforts weren't specced. So it's it will be true to its its weight of 1350 kilos because it hasn't got added things like um, the the sat nav system. It does have Bluetooth. So this is this this is connected to my phone right now, um, which should be yeah. Telephone, let's see. Uh, device list. Yes, yeah, so now it's connected to my phone. So it has full um, Bluetooth phone connectivity, it has a CD player, it has FM, AM, and you can also use there's an auxiliary here to pair your phone with, a, with an adapter, Bluetooth adapter there. So you can get Bluetooth audio streaming but with a third party device and I, I can I can advise on those if you wanted to buy something like that for this car um, it has obviously the, the glove box there cup holders very simple car um, even the stereo system is the most basic stereo system you could have it works actually very well but it keeps the weight down and means that this car is as intended sort of stripped out but comfortable sports car so here's the options list here um, so uh, decorative side stickers, short shift kit, switchable sports exhaust, stainless steel tailpipes, and the Carrera Sport lightweight alloy wheels. Limited slip diff, without rear wiper, PASM, six speed manual gearbox, uh, Bluetooth phone. Uh, it has rear parking sensors as well, which is nice and then the over revs so with it being a manual you, you it is worth checking this it's only got range one and range two over revs and that is a good sign because it means that it's only ever sort of brushed the rev limiter it's never gone beyond the rev limiter so i'd say this car hasn't been tracked in its life at all and all the data that the car stores for itself is matches what the car actually is so for example it knows it's guards red it knows it has black leather interior um, and also the engine hours are exactly in line with what you would hope this car has so it hasn't been clocked or anything like that it's been very well looked after its whole life as you can see it's had lots of work uh, with Porsche specialists and all of that is in the invoices here as well as with the with the stamp book um, I'll just turn it off, but I'll show you um, around the rest of the car as well. Uh, front and rear boot. So it has all of its original stickers, as you can see there. Rear boot is as it should be. 
lots of space in there you can fit golf clubs in there i'm doing a video featuring one of these cars it might be this car showing you where to fit golf clubs but it's very simple to to fit golf clubs in in this car it has some storage cubbies there if you needed to top up the oil you would do it there um, and then you could top up the coolant there but obviously never open that when it's hot absolutely stunning i mean so many people look at this car when it's parked up or you're driving down the road because it's such a striking striking color there's the front boot there lots of space down there all the tools are in this section here it's got your um tire top up there your locking wheel bolt there the original porsche tools the tire gel and the towing eye are all there as they should be in place there's an extra little cubby here if you wanted to store things uh, brake fluid if you need to top that up is there and then it's got a, a decent battery under here as well uh, full size battery uh, that's all been cleaned under there as part of our ch checks on the car uh, Obviously check all the panels for originality, check the paintwork for originality as well, and this car is absolutely fantastic and original in every way it can be. And um, yeah, drives absolutely beautifully and is, is ready for the next owner to enjoy. So if that's you, if you're interested in the car, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.